I don't know what's up with my hair today, but we're gonna roll with it. I know you guys like my big videos, and I do too. Uh, it is a lot of editing, albeit, but I'm gonna take a teeny tiny break right now to give you some breaking news. That's right, I haven't done it in like a while. It don't matter. We're getting a third Hocus Pocus movie. Now, I watched Hocus Pocus too, alright? And I gotta say, it was good. And I didn't think they'd make a sequel. By sequel, I mean I didn't think they'd make like, a third movie because I figured they'd make like a spinoff with the main characters from the second movie. But um, it was confirmed by the Walt Disney Pictures president, Sean Bailey. Um, he stated that, yes, Hocus Pocus 3 is happening when they were discussing additional upcoming live-action projects in development at the company. And... Oh, that's not it? Alright, um... And actually, that's it. Alright, um... Now, the thing with this is that, though, I don't know when they're gonna start writing it because the writer's strike is still happening, so... I was gonna mention that, that I don't even know when we're gonna get Legally Blonde 3 because the writer's strike is happening. We could, I mean, for all we know, it could happen, like, in, like, I don't know, three years or something like that, but... I'm... It's a bit debatable how I feel about Hocus Pocus 3. Hocus Pocus 2 was okay. I know some people liked it, some didn't. Nostalgia was good for them. They were like, ah, you know, where were the other original characters from the first movie? And who are these people? And stuff like that. But I honestly thought it was okay. I mean, it's not like Disenchanted, which, I mean, you know, no one wanted to watch with me. But yeah, um, let me know down below what you think of this news. I honestly would like to know what you guys think. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go watch some Gordon Ramsay. Is this you and Sammy in the front of the house? It's pretty much just me. And how long have you been here? A month and a half. Good tips? I don't need tips. No tips! I Bruh! Sure. That's why I never work in a place like that. I'm telling you, Kitchen Nightmares gives me good tips on what to not do, you know?